latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. Good morning, I'm 41 Action News anchor Lindsay Shively. Tonight, the Shawnee Mission School Board will meet with the Johnson County Health Department. It's a special meeting at 6 o'clock. The board wants to talk to the County Department of Health and Environment about gating criteria. People, including teachers who are concerned about in-person learning in the district, plan to rally to push for remote learning before the meeting. Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas plans to introduce new reforms at the Board of Police Commissioners meeting today. He's hoping to make changes in the department's Office of Community Complaints, including extending the amount of time to file a complaint to two years, removing a minimum age requirement, allowing third party complaints and removing a requirement that complaints be notarized. The Supreme Court will talk about the Affordable Care Act today as some states are arguing the individual mandate provision is unconstitutional. Oral arguments begin at 9 o'clock this morning. We'll not get the court's decision until next year. President elect Joe Biden will also talk about the Affordable Care Act this afternoon. I'm meteorologist Lindsay Anderson and we're tracking some periods of heavy rain, a few rumbles of thunder out there this morning that'll last throughout your morning rush hour and even into part of the lunch hour. I think a lot of us will notice drier conditions between 11 a.m. and noon today, along with a big drop in our temperatures. So we're starting off in the 40s in the Northland, 60s to the south and east, but we're all going to experience that uh, colder air later on today. 40 degrees by 3 p.m. and at 7 o'clock this evening, down to the 30s. Now it is going to be quite windy today behind the cold front, so that means wind chills will be in the 30s as well. So just be prepared for those big changes out there. Luckily, our numbers will recover a bit in the afternoon for the rest of the week. Highs are back to the 50s, which is exactly where we should be this time of year.